Welcome back to Pointless Top 5s. For today's topic, we're going to be talking about the top 5 routes in the Johto region. So let's get it started. Number 5. Route 32. This route is memorable for me because it's the route where I would always start really getting more of my Pokemon team together. A couple of my favorites to catch here in Gold and Silver have always been Mareep and Wooper, which are both really strong Pokemon that you can add to your team early and they'll help you throughout your whole entire journey through Johto. And the only thing that sucks is that if you're playing Crystal, you can't actually catch Mareep here, so that makes you kind of limited on electric types and Crystal, but there are a few other choices later on in the game. There's another part of this route that I really like, which is the Fisherman's area on the side over here, the Magikarp Trainer is over here, which has become sort of like a meme in the Pokemon games, and I always found it kind of hilarious. This route also has its own Pokemon Center, which is really useful because this route also connects to a cave, and we all know how caves can be. And there's also some twerking Rattatas too. Number 4. Route 34. Cool things on this route are the Pokemon that you can catch outside in the grass. You can catch a lot of Pokemon like Abra or Drowsy and even Ditto which is conveniently on the same exact route as the daycare, which is where you can leave your Pokemon with this old man and old woman, and they raise your Pokemon for you. And sometimes if your Pokemon get along really well, and I mean really well, you can get yourself a Pokemon egg, which will end up hatching into a baby Pokemon, and in Kangaskhan's case, it's already an adult with a baby, but it just hatched out of an egg. Doesn't make much sense, but is what it is. However, one cool thing that happens in Pokemon Crystal is that the daycare guy will present us with the odd egg. The odd egg is really cool because it can give you a number of different Pokemon, and it even has a high chance of giving you a shiny Pokemon. And every time I get this egg, I get really excited wondering just which Pokemon I'm going to get out of it, or if I'm going to get a shiny Pokemon. There's also this last trainer you can talk to and get her phone number. And later she'll call you and give you a leaf stone, which is really useful because evolution stones in these games are kind of hard to come by. Number 3, Route 45. And it's pretty interesting because it has multiple different pathways that you can take that lead you to different areas throughout the mountain. Like if you choose to go this way, then you might run into a trainer. Or if you choose to go this other way, then you might end up finding a hidden item. So it actually gives it a lot of replayability. I also like that this whole route ends in an area that you could get to in the very beginning of the game. So it's kind of like going full circle. There's also some really cool Pokemon that you can catch on this route, like Gligar and Teddy Ursa, and Skarmory as well. I also really like that there's this little pool in this area over here that's just kind of by itself. It kind of reminds me of one of those fairy fountains in the original Legend of Zelda. I just feel like I should just be walking up to this water and a fairy should be like appearing, healing me or something. But anyway, Route 45 is one of the best in my opinion, so moving on. Number 2. It's a stank. Alright, for this one we have Route 38 and 39, because they just seem like they go together so well that separating them just doesn't feel right. Anyway, I really like Route 38 and 39 a lot, because there's a lot of different Pokemon that you can catch here. It's just a huge variety that no other routes really give you. I mean, you can catch Pokemon like Magnemite, Farfetch'd, Miltank, Tauros, and some of those are really rare and unusual Pokemon, and you can just find them right here on this route. Another good thing about these routes is that they have a lot of trainers here too which can give your Pokemon a lot of XP. Getting the phone number from this trainer can also get you an evolution stone as well. And specifically on Route 39, we have the Moo Moo Farm, where you can go visit all of the mill tank that live here, and even get some of that good old Moo Moo milk. And that shit is better than Mayfield. And on top of all that, Route 39 also connects to one of my favorite cities in the game, which is of course, Olivine City. Number 1. We have Route 42. This is the route that you take in order to get to Mahogany Town. And just as soon as you enter this route, and you hear this music, you know exactly why this route is on my top 5. I mean, my god. You just can't beat this route music. It's one of my all-time favorites. And this route isn't even that big. 
but they give it like the most epic music. I guess it just shows that it ain't the size that counts. But not only that, but this route also has freaking Suicune. That's right, this route is so freaking epic that even legendary Pokemon want to hang out here. And you can also sometimes find the other legendary dogs in the grass over here as well. So I mean, this route just keeps getting better and better. But wait, there's more. This route also connects to a freaking waterfall cave. And that's just like the cherry on top. So I mean, what more do I really need to say about this route? It's freaking awesome. And before I end the video, I'd like to give some honorable mentions to a few routes that I wasn't able to squeeze on the list. Starting with the first few routes in the game. That's right, Route 29, 30, and 31. The beginning routes of any Pokemon game are obviously going to be the most memorable, and I would have included them in this list, but I wanted to give some of the other routes that maybe wouldn't get talked about as much some of the spotlight. So instead, I thought I'd just give them an honorable mention this time. But yeah, the first few routes are all great, and I love them all as well. Another honorable mention would be Route 44, which is on the west exit of Mahogany Town. It's that one route that leads you to the Ice Cave. I like this route a lot because it's just a really nice looking area, with the small lakes and all surrounding the path. And the fishermen here are cool as well, and they'll even give you some helpful items if you give them your phone number. And yeah, it's just a peaceful little route that I could totally see myself going to just to relax. What are some of your favorite routes in the Johto region? Let me know in the comments section below. I also have another top 5 video on the best routes in the Kanto region, so if you enjoyed this one, be sure and go check that one out too. I want to thank my Patreons for their continued support of the channel. If you want to support the channel, then consider donating on Patreon. It helps keep this channel going. The link for that is in the description box below. If you don't have Patreon, but you still want to support the channel, you can donate by clicking on the Super Thanks button below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, click the bell, and set the notifications to all. If you want to see more awesome videos like this one, be sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Also, if you're new to the channel, be sure and check out some of my other Pokemon videos. My most recent one was talking about creepy backwards Pokemon music, in which I talk about different Pokemon songs and play them backwards, and see just how creepy they sound. I've also done a 50 things wrong list with every Pokemon generation, and I've also done videos on other Nintendo games as well. So if any of that content interests you, be sure and go check it out. I'll have the link to the playlist at the end of the video. Thank you all for watching, this has been Brandon, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.